Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Marissa Wilson. Well, I had the lucky chance to go down to Harrison Elementary School in Cottage Grove and talk to the fifth graders there all about weather and even playing some Weather Jeopardy, one of my favorite things to play. And here's a look at all those students. They also got our new Storm Tracker 9 weather books there, and I hope they enjoyed the presentation. Got some great questions from them. Now let's take a look at weather across the area, what you can expect as we move into tonight and for the rest of the week. Tonight it is cold, especially in the central Oregon, where we're in the low to mid 30s at this hour both Sun River and Bend. Not much warmer in the Willamette Valley where we are looking at the upper 50s in both Corvallis and Eugene. Warmer though into the Umpqua Basin and out along the coast where everyone is looking at the upper 40s near 50 degrees. Taking a look at Storm Tracker 9, satellite and radar, plenty of clouds moving across the area. And yes, it does look like we have some light showers over the past couple of uh, frames. However, none of that is making it down to the ground just yet. That will change as we get into later tonight and into tomorrow morning where we are expecting some drizzle with this weak front, at least it's weak for our area, a bit stronger further to the north where some showers will move into western Washington. But for us, it's kind of a front that is falling apart for the most part. So still expect the showers though as we get into tonight and tomorrow, but we're also watching another system a little bit further on off to the west. This will bring us some more showers once we get into Friday, but still they're just going to be isolated and fairly light. We're not looking at any big rainmakers, at least over the next 48 hours or even for the next seven days for that matter. Let's take a look at Stormcast over the next 36 hours. Let's put things in motion. Here is that weak front, most of the heavy rain into western Washington, but we'll see some drizzle across our area tomorrow morning. Also going to be still looking at the fog, especially in the Willamette Valley down in the Umpqua Basin. Into tomorrow afternoon, we're dry, but there is that next front that'll bring us some heavier showers once we get into Friday. On and off again, still not looking at much across the area, and we're also not looking at snow at the higher elevations. Still looking at rain there. I know that is not good for those that want to go to the ski resort. So again, out along the coast, expect some showers early in the morning, also some patchy fog, mostly cloudy skies for the afternoon with highs in the mid to upper 50s. The Umpqua Basin, you're looking at the low 50s tomorrow, some fog in the morning, otherwise going to keep things overcast. However, we could break out to see the sunshine a lot like what we saw today after 11 o'clock, seeing the beautiful blue skies in the afternoon. The Cascades looking at some drizzle as well in the foothills and even over the passes. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, expect some drizzle in the morning. Also some fog outside in the morning, but otherwise going to keep it mostly cloudy tomorrow with high temperatures closer to 50 degrees. So at least we're going to be a bit warmer than what we saw today. Seven day forecast along the coast. Again, next front moves through Friday, bringing a few showers on and off throughout the day. This weekend is looking great. Maybe you can head to the coast as temperatures will be into the mid 60s. I almost say that's shorts and t-shirt weather, but that might be. Uh, I guess stretching it a bit. As you take a look at the Umpqua Basin, we are going to have fog not only through the weekend, but even into next week. Really not much of a change. Temperatures rather steady as well in those mid to upper 50s. The Cascades showers not only tomorrow, but also on Friday. This weekend, though, mostly sunny with highs into the mid to upper 50s. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, drizzle as well tomorrow morning. Isolated showers on Friday. Foggy skies return for the weekend and into next week, but we stay mild with highs in the 50s and lows in the low 40s.